Hey guys, how you doing? It's Captech here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Um, happy Saturday. Today I'm doing a live Q&A, or not a live Q&A, sorry. I'm doing a Q&A where basically I, I, I told you guys, like, if you put something in my community chat, I'll try to answer it to the best of my ability, all right? So if you're new to my channel, um, I do IT videos, do CompTIA videos, talk about how to get into desktop support, technical support, IT support. And I do, like, training videos as well here and there. So as always, rate, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you know when I go live. Today is more like a 4K special. So basically I, I put um, um, uh, a comment in my community chat. And I'm like, Q&A, ask me anything you want to ask me. And I'll try to answer it as, as best as I can. But today is a Q&A with my dog Snuggle. Right here. Let's look at that. <laughs> 14 years old, man. My dog, man. But he's still hyper. He's still, she's still super hyper. All right, Snuggle, relax, relax, bro, relax. So it's a Q&A with Snuggle, basically. Q&A with me and Snuggle, basically. So let me go to my let me go to my community chat right over here, and I'll, I'll start answering questions away, all right? So give me a second. So I'm going to go all the way to the to this one. All right, so I want to celebrate 4K success by thanking everyone. Um, Saturday, I'll be looking at the section for, for the remainder of the week. Ask me whatever you want to ask me. So I'm looking at the questions right now. Uh, congratulations on your milestone. Uh, Milestone. I had a great internship lined up for the summer. However, it was canceled um, last year. Um, I have been going through a career change over the last year and moving to IT from corp banking. During this time, during this downtime, I've been completing my CompTIA Plus and looking for complete, looking to complete my associates uh, deck by the end of this fall. I worked at help desk of the school I'm going to and a couple of contract jobs that were cut short as well as because of what is going on. Do you have any other suggestions on what I can do going forward? I'm trying to get a work I'm trying to get work by applying to jobs and work with recruiters. Yeah, so you need to you need to um keep doing keep doing what you're doing, work with recruiters, apply to as many jobs as you possibly can. Um fix your resume. Your resume is the most important thing out of everything. It's 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 basically your your profile. It tells a story about you. So you have to fix your resume. If you don't fix your resume, no one's gonna call you. So fix your resume. Um, do hands-on training, which basically means you create labs at home, or you could do the uh, the opposite and actually go into Microsoft website and create a lab there and learn that way. So that's entirely up to you. But that's that's why they'll create labs. Apply as many jobs as you possibly can. Learn as much as you possibly can doing labs and talk to job recruiters and basically try to get try to get some training if that makes sense and apply everywhere apply everywhere and fix your resume your resume is super important otherwise no one's gonna call you like I said alright uh, I just wanna ask you to look back to when you made that next question I want to ask you when you look back when you made the decision to embark on this journey what would you what would be your major advice to someone still having doubts as he, he or she starts out um, Probably, probably for me, the the biggest setback for me when I first started IT, um, one of my biggest mistakes, and I talked about this in another video, was um, I should have done it a long time ago. I didn't know how to get into IT, but I should have done it a long time ago. What do I mean by that? Like, I started a little later than normal. I, if I was like 18 or 19 years old going back, doing it back then when I was 18, 19 years old, because I was doing restaurant at that time. I probably would have been a manager by now, and um, I would have been in a different position right now. So my advice to anyone that's trying out IT, don't be afraid of rejection. Um, don't be afraid of learning. Um, ask a lot of questions. Learn as much as you possibly can. Um, the, and also, like, don't be don't be afraid to ask dumb questions because some people don't know. Just because you just because somebody knows something, you don't know something, doesn't mean it's a dumb question. I don't know if that makes any sense. But sometimes people feel like. They're empowered to know everything. You're not. You're not gonna know everything. No one knows everything. So, um, to answer that question, basically, I, I don't be afraid to get rejected. Don't be afraid to learn IT. Don't be afraid to start in IT. And and um, you can start IT in any age. It doesn't matter how old you are. And I feel like anyone can learn IT. I feel like it's just a matter of learning it. And and, that's a, and everyone learns a different way. And, and it takes time for everyone to learn. And you know, there's some people that learn it like right away, like they get it right away, and there's some people that it takes the time for them to learn it, if that makes sense, all right, I hope that makes sense, so, um, congratulations, man, well done, congratulations, congratulations, I'm not a YouTube celebrity, it's just some of these questions, um, congratulations, brother, 
I apply to entry level, entry jobs. I just hope to get a call soon. Um, all right, cool. I want to know if IT support. I want to know is IT support a career path? If not, how long should someone work as as a support tech? By the way, congrats. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Um, so if you're doing IT support, it should be like roughly about a year, maybe a year and a half. It depends. It depends on the company as well. Because some companies, after a year or a year and a half, they bump you up to another position, like level two, or they make you a server admin, or they make you, or they make you a network admin. So. Uh, realistically, it depends on the company, and it depends how co it depends on you as well as an individual. So, what do I mean by that? Like some people get too comfortable with their job, and they want to stay in their job, and they're making a decent salary, and they don't want to study or do any more certification. So they get comfortable at their job, and that's like one of the that's like one of the things I tell people: don't get comfortable in your job because it's it's like you know you're never gonna grow you're never gonna grow in IT you're never gonna grow as an individual. And you're never going to be able to build a career path if you get stuck in your current situation or your current job. And that's like one of the things you want to avoid in life is that, like that, that in itself. Because um, when you do that, um, there's no limit to what you could do. Um, so basically, after a year, year and a half, you should be, be, you should be changing jobs, um, getting certified, learning as much as you can, trying to get level two. See if you could, see if you could grow within the company. If you can't grow within the company... Basically, promote yourself by studying certifications, um, learning as much as you can, and then looking for jobs outside of your job. And then basically, you increase your salary that way, and you and you change your position that way. Um, that's basically what I recommend doing. That's how I'd answer this question. I hope that makes sense. All right, guys. Give me a second. Uh... I want to know if you collaborate on how much you knew before you got your first job in IT. Are these entry level IT jobs seems like they're working looking for people who already know IT? That's not necessarily true. So I tell people when people are asking for two to three years of IT, um, um, and I'm not, I'm not trying to be mean or anything. But when asking for two three level two three years of IT, they only want you to know the basics. It's a checklist. Some of these companies ask for that that experience, but they know you're not going to have it. They know you're only going to know two or three things when they're asking for the requirements. They know you're only going to know two three things listed there. So it's just a require. It's just like a checklist. You're not gonna know everything. When I first started IT, I knew absolutely nothing. Um, I'm just being honest. You know, I thought I knew about computers. I knew I thought like, oh, I could turn the computer on, download this, download the software, and start it on my computer, and I'm good to go. No, it doesn't work that way. Like I'm like, oh, okay. So then I went to the school, and I'm like, I went to the training school that I went to in Brooklyn, and I'm like, oh, oh wow, this is a lot more information than I thought. And how did I learn all that? I I, uh, I was fixing computers for teachers. I was fixing computers for the staff. Um, I was fixing computers for people that just were looking for me in the school, and that's how I got my um, that's how I got my experience. To be honest with you, that's why when I when if you look at my one of my videos, I talk about my first resume, and my first resume I put self-employed, and I put um I put a hands-on training with fixing computers and stuff like that because I did that. I was in the school, and I was fixing that for people in school. So. Um, but I knew absolutely before that I knew absolutely nothing about computers. I thought I was, I thought I knew about it, but I knew nothing about it. Honestly, you know, you're not gonna know everything. No one knows everything. Like I said, and it's it's just a checklist. If they're asking for two to three years of experience, and they're asking for all these crazy things, you're only gonna know two of them or three of them, and just apply to the job anyway. People keep people are scared to do that, or people are afraid to do that. They're afraid to do that for some reason. Apply to the job anyway and see what happens. You don't, you're not gonna risk. You, you, there's no risk in applying for a job. There's so much you could gain from applying to a job, and um, you have nothing to lose, basically. So, I hope that answers your question. Um, please make a video on Cisco VPN. I will make a video on that coming soon. Don't worry about it. Congratulations. I hope you get millions and millions of subscribers. <laughs> I hope so, too. Um, congratulations. Well deserved. Okay. So, let me go to the next one, because people were commenting along throughout the week. So, that's, that's that one. Let me go to the next comment section. I volunteered in IT for six months, couldn't get could have landed a job. Grateful God opened doors for me. I got my first job and got promoted within a year. Oh my God, it's such great news. See, like people people tell me good good news here. It's not it's not it's not all negativity. You got to be positive in life, you know. Um, let's see. Hey, go to the next section. 
By the way, if you go to my community chat, I'm always giving things out for free. I give out a cybersecurity course on my community chat absolutely for free. So you might want to check that out. Um, it's still there, by the way. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you, what is the most common duties of help desk entry level, and what should we concentrate on? Oh, that's a really good question. See, that, that, that question is really good. Why is that question good? Because a lot of people are starting out in IT, and nobody knows what they want to do. Nobody knows what they should study. Nobody knows what they should focus on. So when you're, when you're doing um, the, the, the things that help desk entry level, they are concentrated on. Uh, they concentrate on Active Directory, Password Resets, Account Creation, Unlocking Accounts, um, Creating Mailboxes, Creating Distribution Groups, um, NTFS, which is Shared Drive Permissioning. So like someone, like say for example, I, I give a hypothetical example. Hi, my name is Marta. I need access to the Z Drive. And I'm like, what? What are you talking about? Um, and then you talk to the manager, the manager's like, yeah, give her access to the Z Drive. Just add, just, just add her to the security group and have her log off and log back in. And um, she should have access now and just help help her map the Z Drive. I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. So something like that. So yeah, you need to know Active Directory, Password Reset, Account Creation, um, Distribution Groups. Um, what's the difference between a distribution group and a security group? We went over that before. Uh, mailbox Creation, um, Unlocking Accounts, and the basic levels of Windows operating systems. To, to, so troubleshooting an operating system on Windows, like why are you getting this error message on Outlook? Why are you getting this error message on Excel? Why am I getting this error message on PowerPoint? Why is Outlook keep crashing when I open it up? Um, every time I type, every time I open a new email on Outlook and I type something on Outlook, the whole thing crashes. Every time I add a formula on Excel, it crashes. Every time I do something on this program, it crashes. Um, Every time I I try to run this script on SQL, it crashes. So you know, like things like that. You know, obviously SQL is a little more advanced. That's something that I would see in my job, like level two, because I do level two support. But the basic stuff, you know, Active Directory, DNS, DHCP, password reset, account creation, distribution groups, and stuff like that. So I hope that answers your question. Um, that's it. That's all the questions I got for today. This is just a Q&A, questions and answers. I'm just answering questions here on my, on my community chat. Um, somebody else did write a, new, a really good comment right over here. So I'm looking for it right now. Um, give me a second. Oh, requirements to work from home. Like what kind of computer should I have or should I have an equip if I might need one? So for that, um, usually the company gives you a laptop um, and they send you all the, the they should they send you a laptop, a docking station, and a monitor. They'll they'll hook you up with that. Now, if you're a consultant and you're you're working full time as a consultant for a company, they won't give you any of that. So they're gonna have you have a, your own computer. Obviously, you can't do any of your work. Then they'll give you a computer. But you're gonna you're gonna have a computer. You're gonna have a laptop or a laptop or a desktop hooked up to a monitor typically, and they'll have you connect with Citrix. So basically, you connect with with their website. And then you'll, you'll probably have RSA or Duo on your phone, and you'll authenticate to the website of the company, and then you work from home that way. If that makes sense, so you might have to have a you might have to click on a virtual desktop. Maybe they'll create a virtual desktop for you, or maybe they'll they'll hook you up with a desktop that's in another office or in an office far away, and you can remote into that. If that makes sense, uh, depending on the environment, every environment is different. If that makes sense, so that's basically what it is. Um, the standard for a computer today, like for like remoting in or for work, I think it's like eight gigs of RAM. Um, you need to have like a good processor, probably an i5 or i7. Um, AMD Ryzen, obviously, AMD Ryzen uh, uh, a seven or not or a nine or whatever, whatever you have. It has to have four four to four to twelve cores at least, you know, and eight gigs of RAM. Like don't don't go, don't get something that's crappy. Don't get four gigs of RAM or something like that. Make sure you have an SSD as well, a solid state drive, if that makes sense. Um, otherwise, your computer's going to lag. It's just going to be a terrible experience for you when you're trying to work from home. Um, and basically, you, you have uh, two monitors. Like, somebody working with a laptop and a monitor, like, I can't work like that. I need to have at least three monitors or four monitors for me to work from home. I, I, I can't do two monitors. Okay, I get away with it. But if I have more than two monitors, I could do so much at my, at my job. It's scary. 
at, at, at the office, I have three monitors. So it depends on how you're set up at home. But for the most part, usually they give you a computer. Um, either that or, or they expect you to do everything on your computer and remote into a, a, a VDI, virtual desktop interface, or, or a remote desktop or something like that. So that's pretty much it. It's not, you've, been, you've been super quiet today, bro. What's going on? So there's a live Q. This is a Q and A with my dog Snuggle and me. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Um, another another adventure at trying to get people to watch my content. Another adventure at um, basically. I didn't know I would get 4K. I'm honestly shocked that I got 4K. I'm honestly shocked that I'm at 4K right now. Thank you guys for watching my content. I greatly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I'm not even joking about that. I'm being serious about that. Um, I love you guys. You know, I love you guys. I, I get mad sometimes. I get, I get I get that New York vibe sometimes. I'm not trying to be mean to anyone. You know, it's a New York thing. I'm sorry about that. But, you know, I love you guys. I love you guys, man. I love you. I love, I've done this before in my other video. I love you guys, you know? Nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna BS you. I tell you the truth, man. I hope you guys continue to um, work hard, train, learn as much as you possibly can, study as much as you possibly can, ask a lot of questions, apply to as many jobs as you possibly can, and just just be proactive proactive for everything i'm gonna leave i'm gonna leave my um i'm gonna leave all positive comments here and i'm gonna leave it right here on the screen and you guys can have a look at it and this is all the positive things that people have been saying on my youtube channel it's just positive advice you know motivating me to be a better youtuber to be a better person and you don't know how much youtube has changed me as an individual it's changed me a lot actually so um thank you again guys for um rating comment subscribing motivating me to be a better person um i definitely appreciate it um and more videos to come and we have we have 4k let's see what happens maybe we we'll go to 5k i don't know what's gonna happen so let's see what happens um i hope you guys have a great day and i hope you guys stay safe have a great weekend and uh like i said more videos to come and i should be live um i should be live uh 2 p.m eastern time today all right hope you guys enjoy this video all right you guys have a good day Take care. Peace. No, come on, Snow. Ah, my dog. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave. Um, I'm gonna leave my dog here. You wanna stay there, Snow? <laughs> you wanna stay? What are you? <laughs> He's looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm gonna leave positive comments here, man. I, I, I have. You guys, you guys are super positive about life. Me too, man. Me too. Hope you guys continue to stay positive. You guys have a great day. All right. Take care. Later. Peace.